Hallelujah, Yahweh. Praise you, Yahweh. In the name of the Son, the mighty God, you, Yahweh. Beit Nun Sophie, you, Yahweh. Selah. Welcome to Black Gods of Yahweh Media. In this particular video, we're going to talk about ways that organizations steal from Yahweh. And I have to admit, in the past, I have allowed wrong things to take place because I didn't want to ruffle any feathers. I didn't want to cause a commotion. But normally when you're speaking the truth, some people are going to get offended. Many people are going to get offended. Some people are going to be taken aback. And people are going to get angry. That's what truth does. I have to apologize if you guys are hearing uh, children screaming in the background. My house is right beside a playground. With that being said, I have a message for the citizens of Yude Wave. The new fruits, the first fruits, the 144,000 of Revelations 14 and 4, children of the Adam. Beware of those profiting off of Yahweh Ben Yahweh's work. You have organizations formed in the name of Yahweh profiting off of his holy work. Yahweh Ben Yahweh didn't leave you an inheritance. And if he did, prove it. Every single book that Yahweh Ben Yahweh wrote belongs to him. He did not tell you to put money in your pocket off of it. Yahweh Ben Yahweh taught you to be industrious, not to take from the word of Yude Wave. It is designed to save souls, not to earn money for you. Yahweh Ben Yahweh passed out the yellow book for free. He said in the tomb, take my lectures, record them, make several copies of them, and pass them out. He also said, Get you one of those high-speed recording devices. Put on your headphones. As you sleep, let it soak into your subconscious mind. And for those who don't believe that, I can play the audio for you. You have these organizations who sell everything. They don't do nothing for free or anything for the people but the oxygen out of their mouths. Brothers like myself, Yashin, Mace Windu 26, Shem Yael, and a host of others, we don't monetize our channels. It is designed to represent the Son of Yahweh and to enlighten the people. Let's talk about tithes and offering. Yahweh ben Yahweh taught 10% to Yahweh, 10% to yourself. He didn't tell you to give 10% to an organization that has no real track record of doing for the people plus 10% to Yahweh, plus 10% to yourself. That's actually 30%. So I'll reiterate, Yahweh Ben Yahweh taught 10% to Yahweh, 10% to yourself. Not 10% to an organization, 10% ties to Yahweh, and 10% to yourself. That's actually 30%. The tide of Yahweh and to nation building, if you gave that, it would go to the people. Tide is defeating Israel. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? Let's go see. We're going to go find out. We're going to go to Deuteronomy 14, 27 through 29. Deuteronomy 14, 27 through 29, as you can see. And the Levites... That is within thy gates. Thou shalt not forsake him, for he have no part nor inheritance with thee. At the end of three years, thou shalt bring forth all the tithes of thine increase the same year, and shall lay it up within thy gates. And the Levite, because he have no part nor of inheritance with thee, and the stranger and the fatherless, and the widow which are within thy gates, shall come and shall eat and be satisfied that the Lord thy God, Yahweh, may bless thee in all the works of thy hands, which thou doest. Tithe is giving to the people. 
Tithe is for giving back to the stranger, the fatherless, the widow. It's to building a nation. So even that 10% you give to Yahweh, it's designed to give back to the people. And if you want to do a separate 10% to nation building, that also goes to the people. You know, I, I hear people say that, Yaakov, you need to get into the law. Do you guys know the law? Tithing goes back to the people, even the tithes to Yahweh. Yahweh owns all the money in the universe. He wants you to take that money and do something for the children of Israel. Tithes is meant to feed and enhance the people of Israel, like I said, the children of Yahweh, not for self-proclaimed leaders to do as they wish. We're supposed to have Shabbat classes, 10-step study classes, but how much revenue does that take to do? The smart people are going to take this information and utilize it. The followers, they're going to say the rebuttal of this video and you have people saying it's chatter and it's lies and the unwise will believe it. You have to do your investigation and this is why I'm speaking to those that are not tainted by members of the old nation who have split off and did their own thing. Those who are coming within the spirit, you have to be very, very keen in investigating this process. The money that you give to nation building and tithes is supposed to be done to build up a nation and give back to the people. And a group has to have a track record of actually doing that. Now, I don't like to criticize or give my opinion without actually showing you another process. So in my next video, I'm going to show how you actually raise money for building a nation, how you do right by that administratively to the people, how you're open in showing what is being given, what is the process of buying, having transparency. I'm going to do that video. Because it's important that people don't be deceived. Once again, the information that I put out is not to put people down. It's not. It's that through my travels within the knowledge of Yahweh and dealing for a short time with these groups, I learned this. And this is what I need to put out to the new fruits, which is the first fruits. Beware of these things. Yahweh ben Yahweh teaches us to consider, to think deeply about things. And don't just follow someone because you believe they're a leader who have their best salakia, your best interest at heart. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. This is Black Gods of Yahweh Media. I want to say peace and shalom until the next video.